Hello everyone. I'll be doing a quick video tour around the Sony PZ 16 to 50 mm OSS lens. Here it is. This lens is designed for the Sony E mount systems like the NEX cameras. So let's have a look. As you can see, the lens is very very small it's almost as small as the Sony's 16 millimeter pancake lens let's have a look at the front and at the front you got the focal length written 16 to 50 OSS 16 to 50 millimeter gives you the equivalent field of view of 24 to 75 millimeter. Look at the back. The mount is is a metal mount, as you can see. The rest of the body is made using plastic but it's quite good quality it feels quite solid the weight is 116 grams so very very light on this side on the left hand side you got the power zoom control and on the front you can see the zoom ring there you go okay I'm going to mount this lens on the NEX F3 camera to see what it can do That's how it looks like when the lens mounted. Okay, let's switch the camera on to see what it can do. As soon as I switched it on, you can see the lens popped out. The lens basically has the collapsible design with power zoom mechanism. So the power zoom controller is on the left side, so I can zoom in. With that, let me show you. go I can zoom in and zoom out using the control I can also use the zoom ring on the front to zoom in and out so as you can see I am rotating the zoom ring and it's zooming in and out The zoom ring can also be used for focusing. In order to do that, you need to go into the menu. Now if you go to the camera, and then the moment you can see set to autofocus if 
I go to manual focus, I can use the zoom ring for focusing. There you go. As I'm rotating the zoom ring, you can see the subject going in and out of focus. Okay. Let's do a test shot. Okay. Let's go back to out of focus again. So the lens autofocus performance is quite good, as you can see. It's quite snappy. Okay. I've noticed that when you're on the wide end of the lens, 24 millimeter, there's a lot of distortion. I'll show you an example. So this is the 24 millimeter end, wide angle end. So I'll take a photo. If you notice in the corner, the camera automatically corrects the distortion. So I'll do it again, take another shot. Note keep an eye on the corner you can see slight barrel distortion now you can see the camera processed it and straightened it up so this won't be a problem for most people as the camera does a very good job of sorting it out in JPEG mode This lens also has image stabilization built in. So that is very, very handy. Unlike the 16 millimeter pancake lens, which doesn't offer image stabilization. So this lens is very, very similar spec wise to the Sony. 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens with the added bonus of portability. Overall I have been quite pleased with this lens because it offers what I want from it, mainly portability. It gives a very useful focal range decent image quality, has image stabilization. The power zoom mechanism is very useful for video. So yeah, overall, very happy. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like it and subscribe. Thank you for watching.